Hi there, and welcome to your end-of-day walkthrough for the EPOS Now till. In this video, we'll show you how to close your till at the end of the day, why it's important, and how to access and reprint your reports. Let's get started. At the end of each trading day, it's really important to close your till properly. This helps keep your records accurate, flags any cash discrepancies, and clears out unfinished transactions, all of which help your system run smoothly. Ideally, you should do this every day, at the end, or before starting your next shift. When you start your till in the morning, you'll be asked to enter a float. That's the starting cash in your drawer before you take any payments. This step makes sure your end-of-day totals are accurate. If the float screen doesn't appear, it likely means the end of day wasn't completed the day before. To close your till, tap the menu icon in the top left corner, go to admin, and then tap close till. If you don't see the close till button, it might be a permission setting. An admin can update this in the back office by adjusting your staff role. On the close till screen, you'll see a short checklist, action buttons, a variance block, and a cash up block. These are the main areas you'll be working during the closure process. Additional sections, such as the float section and tabbed views along the top, provide more detailed information. If you have any open orders or tables, you can press View. This will open the transaction list, giving you a chance to close them out or void if needed. Here, you'll need to count the actual cash in your drawer and enter the amount into the Counted column. The expected column shows how much the system thinks should be there based on your sales and starting float. If there's a difference, it'll appear in the variance column, which can help flag any issues like missed sales or incorrect change. If you have an integrated card machine, your card total will appear under the expected column, so you can just copy the figure over. If your card machine isn't integrated, however, you'll need to find the totals from it and enter those manually. Once you're happy that everything looks right, tap, print and close. Your cash drawer will pop open and the final end of day summary will print from the receipt printer. Just tap close on the pop-up to finish. If you ever need to reprint the receipt, just go back to the close till screen, scroll over and press history. You'll see a list of previous end of day reports and you can reprint any of them directly from the till. Now, if the close till screen shows no totals, or the printed report is blank, it might mean blind end of day is active. The setting is designed for staff who are allowed to close the till, but not view any financial figures. If it's enabled, you won't see the details on the close till screen, and the printed report will have limited info. An admin can turn this off or adjust the setting in the back office under staff roles. If you'd like to automate the process entirely, you can turn on auto close till in your device settings via the back office. With this on, the till will automatically close each day at 5 a.m. You'll also get daily reminders if the till hasn't been closed, and after eight days, the system will auto close the next time a transaction is processed. You can also customize what appears on your end of day receipt. On the till, head to settings, then tap EOD report and from here, you can toggle off any sections you don't need on the printed summary. Once the till is closed, that day's data is locked and sent to the back office, so make sure to double check everything before you hit print and close. To view your end of day reports in the back office, log in, go to reporting on the left, then banking. Once here, select end of day. You can use the Show Data drop-down to select a time range or enter a custom date range yourself. You can also use location, device, and staff filters if you have a lot of reports to look through. Each report includes details about the till's opening, closing, and general activity. If you want to go deeper, click Show Tenders to view a fully detailed breakdown of sales, credit, refunds, and more. And finally, there are two ways of reprinting the report from the back office. If you're on a browser, pressing the Reprint Report button will show options to print via a standard printer. If you're on the till but in the back office, pressing Reprint Report will print the end-of-day report from your receipt printer, in the same way it does with the historic section. And that's it. That's how to complete an end-of-day on your EPOS Now till. It's a quick step, but it keeps your business organized and your records accurate. 
For more video guides on how to use the till and back office, check out the how-to playlist on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.